Scorpio, Everlong Mystic here. <clears throat> Today I'm going to do a next destination reading for you. So we're going to see <clears throat> where you are, where you want to be, what's helping you, and what the challenge is. Okay? So, <clears throat> Scorpio, where are you? Where do you want to be? What's helping you? What can help you? And what is your challenge? All right, Scorpio. Where are you? Scorpio, you are at the Queen of Swords. I feel like you are on the lookout for something. You are on the lookout for something. And your, your weapon is the sword of truth. And you're not afraid to hold it at either end. You're not afraid to hold it at either end. But you are on the lookout for something. So I don't know what, <clears throat> I don't know what you're looking out for. I don't know if you're like looking for an arrival of something or if you were looking for enemies or something, but you're on the lookout. So that's where, that's where your energy is at right now. So where do you want to be? You want to be Seven of Pentacles. So what, like you want to have your mind on your money and your money on your mind here? I don't know. I feel like you're tallying something up. You want to tally. What are you what are you tallying up here? Look at this. It's like a like it's like an abacus. It's like you're taking inventory of your of your wins. You want to have more wins under your belt. I feel like this that's what this is, Scorpio. You want more wins under your belt. So maybe right here, this what you're looking out for is opportunities to win. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> so, what's going to help you get to this place where you can tally more wins? Let's just see what's going to help. The star! Sweet. Okay, so we have the star, Scorpio. So, this is like the... This is like the you're soaking in it card. You need to completely immerse yourself in the essence of you. You need to completely immerse yourself in your own essence and clean up. Like It's like there's also this, there's an element of cleanup here. Yeah, it's, you know, there's healing with the star, but you can see, look at this water. It's very clean. This water is very clean. You can see everything underneath it. There's no murkiness, there's no sediment, there's, this is clean water. So there's something, there's something of a cleansing nature that can really help you. If you feel like you have been experiencing losses or like defeats or what have you, there might be a clean, you might need to clean your energy a little bit, a little bit differently or there's something about clean water here, Scorpio. It's like there's a, it brings a certain clarity to you. Huh. Okay. So what's your challenge? Your challenge <laughs> is uh, some kind of lack of self-confidence somewhere. And it's the... It's the Three of Pentacles, and it's supposed to be a card of working together, but here you are by yourself. So are you, do you, like, is there a challenge, like, do you, do you feel challenged when you're by yourself? Are you, are you dependent on others for your successes? Why is being alone such a challenge for you? Like, you can't do it on your own, maybe something like that? Because if you were to take these beautiful, clean, clear waters over here, 
from the star card and water these plants with that water with this water these would grow whatever you're trying to grow would grow you would grow more winds but this is a challenge for you maybe you don't think your water is pure enough maybe you don't think your water is clean enough but this these waters is, is your essence Scorpio All right, so let's look at, let, we're just going to look a little bit more into this, these waters here. Because like right now you're in a, <clears throat> right now you're in a headspace. You're currently in a headspace, but you, you want to, you, you definitely want to manifest something. Something that is a fit, like a, a win that you can feel and you can, or taste or, you know something you know like you want like a real world win under your belt and you you're probably gonna have to feel your way through it because feelings are, are what's gonna help you and feelings are also your challenge so you're gonna have to feel your way through this Scorpio all right the star what is what is helping Scorpio what is helping Scorpio get the next win? Oh, wow. This is a busy little card here. So this is card number 10. So that could indicate a completion of something. But I'm going to read it because this is a brand new deck. Look at this, it's so busy. It's weird, it's like it looks kind of voodoo-y, like with scary things. Like it's like biting the head off of this little doll or person. It's like like a sacrifice. It's almost like like it's trying to remind you of all the things that you have sacrificed to get where you are now. It's a reminder of your sacrifices. I'm just gonna read this real quick here. So card number 10, how is this helping you? Okay, I cannot pronounce this, but I'm gonna try. Mictlantecutli, I don't know what that is, okay. So <clears throat> it's the king of the dead. Here, let me hold up the card. So we have the king of the dead and the afterlife, ruler of the deepest part of the underworld. Along with his wife, he forms the binary and complementary opposition of disaggregation of bodies and matter. We see him devouring a body for rupture and fading out are the starting point for any success. I'm gonna repeat that. Rupture and fading out are the starting point for any successive work of creation or regeneration. He is the alchemic solve to separate the analysis before synthesis, the phoenix that dies and turns to ashes before rebirth. Wow. So your advice here is it's time to look at the situation from a more in-depth point of view. Yeah, more in-depth. Look how deep, look how deep you should be in the water here. So it's time to look at the situation from a more in-depth point of view to analyze the circumstances before you before putting the pieces back together. So there is a disassembling and reassembling energy here. I feel like you need to <clears throat> take a look at where you are now. Whatever this is that you're looking for, this, whatever you're on the lookout for, whatever got you here, Scorpio, whatever got you to this position here, I feel like your advice here is to is to disassemble, 
disassemble everything and take a really good look at it and soak in it. So soak in all the parts of it. And let and let let the emotions get cleaned of it. So that you can eventually use this clean water, this clarity, because you do have a sword here. This clarity to water I can't pick it up. To water your next your next success. All right, your challenge. All right, Scorpio, your challenge. Why is why is Scorpio not thinking that they can do this on their own? Why does Scorpio think that they need help from others? Why can't Scorpio do this on their own? What is the challenge here? Oh, it's because you don't want to do it on your own. Okay. So, Scorpio, your challenge here... <clears throat> your challenge here is not being alone. Obviously, there's two... This is, this is like a happy home here. This is doing... You want to do something together. You don't want to be alone. It's not... So maybe it's not so much... That you don't feel like you can't do it by yourself but you want to be able to share it with someone else. So what's, why is this a challenge though? Well, you probably know why it's a challenge. We're gonna read, <clears throat> we're gonna read the advice part here. So this is the work card. You see how he's working on the house here? And she's working in the garden. So it says here that this card represents the practical act after the spark lit by the previous card, birth. With awareness, we descend a second staircase to bring our act into the universe. Through constant work on ourselves, We build our future step by step, brick by brick, and we sow seeds for the harvest and for the following staircases to ascend. The advice here is to proceed courageously without hesitation, working with constancy on the basis of your work. So, Scorpio, I feel like there is your challenge here is a confusion between what you think you can do alone. Now, the confusion between thinking you have to do something alone and knowing that, that you don't have to do it alone. Alone versus not alone is, is your challenge here. Regardless, it's still about sowing seeds. It's like you're, you're focusing on, on something else that's not actually the problem. You know what I mean? And I feel like once you sit, once you disassemble, and once you sit here and let the water clear, then this will no longer be a, like a confusing, muddled issue. And you'll be able to get your next win because you'll be able to water the seeds. I think, I think you're good. I think you're going to be good, Scorpio. You got this. Uh, you've handled worse. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. Thank you so much for embracing your inner mystic, and I will see you next time. Bye.